Mr Speaker, while I fully understand the need for protected places for women, and I totally support this, and also issues when it comes to sports, I am growing increasingly concerned that trans people are becoming demonised in some quarters. What is the Secretary of State doing to protect the interests and protect the very nature of genuine trans people? I thank my honourable friend for that question, and I want to emphasise that the government believes in the principle of individual liberty and in the humanity and dignity of every person. And in everything we do, we want to make sure that we take the toxicity out of the debate. A lot of the demonisation is happening out there on social media. We have a responsibility to, uh, to make sure that all trans people have that dignity and are looked after. Um, in terms of what other things we're doing, NHS England is working to expand clinical capacity in adult gender identity services by establishing new pilot clinics rooted in primary care and sexual health services, and four of those new clinics have opened since 2020, with a fifth opening this year, and they will be able to provide a lot of the health care that the trans people need.